My name is Louis Gaillot. I'm the worldwide product manager for the uh, virtual reality solutions that we provide on our workstation platforms. And in, in what ways is uh, HP ZBook being used in virtual reality? The, the Z ZBook 17 G4 is a mobile workstation, so it's used for content development. There's creative uh, applications like Autodesk, and, uh, and, and in fact, in some of the uh, other partner booths, the ZBook uh, series is being used for showing demos and using the, uh, the ISV certified applications like Autodesk, uh, Katia, uh, Siemens, uh, NX all those kinds of applications for product development, for architectural development and uh, reviews, uh, those kinds of things. And how about this uh, virtual world simulation we're doing now? Uh, yeah, we, we are, we are uh, jumping into the virtual reality arena. We see a lot of commercial application for virtual reality in all the same traditional segments that I just explained to you before, in architecture, in product development, but also new opportunities like training and simulations and healthcare. Uh, those kinds of activities uh, are just open doors for potential VR application. This is the new HP ZVR backpack. It is a, the first commercial wearable high performance VR PC on the market. And it's got some really unique things about it. First of all, it, we're introducing the very first implementation of the new Quadro GPU from NVIDIA. It's the Quadro P5200. It is a GTX 1080 class GPU, but it comes with 16 gigabytes of VRAM memory. So it's a huge VRAM frame buffer that's available on this. It's a 150 watt GPU packed into this small PC. We pair it with the seventh generation Core i7 mobile series, the 7820. It's a top bin, one of the top bin C CPUs from Intel. It comes with 32 gig of system memory, up to 32 gig of system memory, and up to one terabyte of NVMe M.2 solid state storage. So it's a powerful machine packed into this small form factor. It, Dauntless is the product uh, name for, uh, from a company called Motion Reality. And uh, Motion Reality it has their roots in motion capture technology, and so they have a unique motion cap uh, system uh, that, that, that they use for what they do is trainings and simulations for small team operations, whether it's in police forcing or um, military uh, operations. So dangerous environments where you want to train your people to be aware of how to handle not only their weapons, but different situations that they may be facing in the real world. These guys are walking around in the virtual world that you see here. Yes, sir. So uh, what you see here on this monitor is a first-person view of the first participant. Um, I could switch this view between each subject to kind of monitor them as they uh, progress through the scenario. But I can also look through the instructor's view to see what he's seeing more as a secondary look at uh, at the participants. So that's what they do, that's their specialty. And you can see here that they're using our HP ZVR backpack as a mobile wearable VR PC so that allows them to have an arena kind of environment for the participants to be able to freely move around and uh, to do so in a very, very compelling way. So the actual people themselves, you can see that they have markers on them the, the Dauntless system uses those markers where the motion capture sensors around the arena uh, tracks every movement, limb movement, elbow movement, hand movement, head movement, leg movement, and in that way, their system can recreate the avatar and provide the avatar of the people within the virtual world that they are in. And they can see each other. And in fact, not only that, they can touch each other in virtual reality. So it's, it's really quite an amazing setup and um, we're really happy that uh, we can enable great experiences with the HP ZVR backpack. Uh, can companies buy the backpack themselves individually? Yes, we, it'll be orderable on HP.com as well as direct through direct sales and channel partners.
What's the general price range? We have a starting price of with the complete solution that gives you the harness, the PC, the docking station, which we didn't talk about, but the docking station, um, batteries, battery chargers, and the cable for an HTC Vive in particular. Um, the starting price is $32.99. The, the, we have uh, customers that are interested in deploying this type of technology, for instance, in driver simulations. So you're in a cockpit of a car. Um, you're using also other applications where um, you have location-based entertainment for, let's say, kind of like VR arcades kind of thing. And in fact, there's a company called IOSolve that actually sells single-user pod uh, type of uh, experiences, VR experiences for consumers that require a mobile backpack kind of environment. So, um, so there are many, many, many single use case scenarios for this kind of technology, but it's also exciting that, as you see here, it enables collaborative environments as well. And that's really great for many businesses, like in product development, when you have a virtual garage and you're doing virtual reviews of a product, you can have people from lo different locations around the world come into the common virtual garage and review the product all together in avatar form. So those things will be enabled, and there's a lot of software being developed all around us that is going to enable these kinds of use cases.